at the end, on the 17th, upwards to the first team, you have your principles to win games, basically. Um, if you have those principles, there's a possibility that you tell your players what you want them to do. So you, you may, that, that's basically a conscious pattern. We call that uh, explicit information, which is a different uh, area of the brain where it's stored when we play football. When we play football, we use knowledge stored in your implicit long-term or non-declarative uh, uh, memory. So we want to fill basically that part of the brain. Uh, you do that by not so much explaining what is going to happen, but you want to experience just by experiencing it. Um, what we do is that we force the exercise to, um, yeah, so that you can be successful by uh, uh, following the implicit rules that there are. So, for example, if you do an exercise where you want, where, where your focus is on uh, giving pressure, for example, so we do a transition game. Uh, uh, yeah, we play a three against three and, and uh, what we want to stimulate here is that after we lose possession, they immediately recover the ball. So <clears throat> what we do, or what you can say is, okay, when that, when you do that within three seconds, you have two points. When you do it after three seconds, you have one point. So players want to win. So what they do is that they want to go for the, for the highest points, for example. Uh, or another way, what you can do is if you want to, um, if you want to uh, uh, stimulate the use of diagonal passes, I can say, okay, my left back and right, right full back, go ahead and play uh, 20 meters up front. I can explain that, which is explicit information. Or what I can do, implicit information, I cut the corners out of, of the field. So my left back has to stand 20 meters in front. So I unconsciously force him to do uh, yeah, what the, the essence of the training is. Um, the same is when we play defending and we want to choose possessional defending. Um, I can tell you to my defenders, okay, you cannot take or you cannot grab the shirt of your opponent. I can say that, but if he's still doing that all the time, I can give him two tennis balls in his hands and I say, go ahead and play that exercise. So he cannot grab the shirt anymore because he has the tennis balls in his hands. So all kind of situations that, that yeah, the, the coaching, as we say, the coaching is done by the exercise, not so much through the mouth of the coach. But it's very simple because if you understand the brain in football, and the different areas you use, it's easily to train the wrong uh, well, part of the brain, basically.